Excuse me? Oh. Were you molested when you were younger? No. No? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little beat there. So, uh, what happened? Your parents found out about it? Or you told them? No, I uh, wrote it in my journal. And um, oh, I journal. left it at school once. And uh, I left it in my backpack. And I guess they were trying to see whose backpack it was. And they actually opened it and read it. And found out about it. And the school actually, you know, reported it and everything. And actually, what I wanted to ask you is, how can I not make this happen? Because I don't want um, to press charges. Um, well, first off, it's not up to you, I don't think. Uh, it's it may be maybe too late for that, but he, here's here's well, the, the thing. Yeah, uh, I don't have any proof. I didn't write uh, any names. I didn't write any names. Yeah. All right. Uh, what, what isn't there some sort of like attorney client privilege between a chick and her diary? By the way, that's like not admissible in court or yeah, something. No, no. Uh, are they putting the screws to you? I mean, look here. Here's here's the thing. Uh, you should do something about this. This guy's a criminal, and he needs to be, you know, brought to justice without sounding corny. Uh, on the other hand, if you're just looking for a way to get out of it, you can just say you made it up, in which case everyone will just think uh, you're a nut job. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it, sound, it, it sounds either bogus or, 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 or like you're crying out for some attention or help. Right. You wouldn't put the journal in your backpack and bring it to school unless you want people to find it. Well, this, this, right. either this is a bogus call or, or this is a very disturbed situation and people hopefully at school will refer you for some help yes. and that this, I, this I, person I, I will be think. taken to task appropriately. He certainly shouldn't be teaching kids. Yeah. To protect himself and to protect other people. And it sounds like he needs some kind of treatment as well. Yeah. And certainly Bernice. in your situation, Bernice, you need a lot of help. So yeah. Why not just go throw yourself on the mercy of uh, the powers that be? You're not going to get into trouble. Yeah, let them help How about you. it? Let them help you. Well, why go, why I, go through with this uh, rain cloud over your head? It's just like, it, there's there's something uh, liberating about just, just throwing yourself, just being free. How about well, just it? Just following directions. Yeah. Just, yeah just, just go talk to your counselor. How about it? I've been in therapy for about six months now. I've yeah. Therapy, yeah so we'll it. talk to your therapist about talk it. Talk to then. your therapist about it. No, no. Oh, uh, well, All that's right. not therapy. Right. Well, then. then stop bothering us, would you please? That's not therapy, Bernice. That, I don't know what that is, but that's not therapy. Oh, well, look, I don't care what it is, but if you're going to call the show and ask for our advice and you don't want to take it, then don't call the show anymore, please. All right, thanks. Good. I know I sound like a dick, but this is the second time you've called. It's the second time we've told you what our opinion is and what you need to do. And well, it's, it's a serious situation. Second time it's you a, told it's us a, this. It's a You're serious situation. It. it is. Talk to your therapist about it. It's a very serious situation, and it's very. It's, it doesn't. It feels very helpless to us. Well, to somebody in, in this horrible situation. I'm not minimizing not, what's happened to her well, or how difficult direction. it is. But on the, I don't. I have no choice. Here's yeah. what you tell us: what to do. Uh, you tell us what the problem is, we'll tell you what to do, and if you say, no, I'm not going to do it, then we got to move on. You're a dick to a lot of people on the air. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, she's seen me off the air. <laughs> we'll take a, a break. We'll be right back after this. Well, that's it. I want to thank uh, Tom Burbine for coming out here. And, uh, again, if you're looking for a custom van, <laughs> RV. Yeah. yeah, if I get fired as a professor, I will... Um do the, the vans. Yeah. And hey. I'll see you in uh, Pine of Valley. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk to uh, Amherst College, and I will ensure that you get invited up. Or you may ask, even you ask me good. They have yeah, 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 yeah. Resources. Yeah, I will make sure you get invited Thank to speak you. up there. Well done. I will go see, speak to the <sighs> right people. Holy Oak Smith. Yes. Yeah. They're all holding their breath, waiting for Drew to roll in the tent. <laughs> so, uh, again, Tom Burman, thank you uh, very much for your uh, generous donation. And until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Dr. Drew saying... Mahalo. And I was also impressed how good looking you were because uh, it never gets mentioned on the air. Now you're... we're getting to it. Uh, <laughs> now we're getting why. Now we know why he popped down why the he uh, 15 here. grand yeah, 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 across the country. Oh, and I got to put out too, don't I? <laughs> well, I, for I 15 mean, grand, yeah, I think what that's what good do? for at least a reach around. This has been Loveline. Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. Or the, 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 the producer for Loveline is Annie Gold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.